MCC Season 8 release date has been announced and the first Halo Infinite event has completely sold out already. So in this video, we're gonna dive into all of the Halo news. And if you wanna know more, we'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So I got some more Halo news for you guys today. We got the announcement finally of season eight of the MCC. It's coming next week, but there've been some changes of what's gonna be available for the season eight release. And of course we'll be talking about when it releases and what to expect for it, as well as the first Halo Infinite event has already sold out within a week. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within the YouTube algorithm. If you wanna stay updated with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well then uh, you can always tap subscribe. So uh, let's get right into the content here. All right, so let's start with the big news that came out today, guys, that season eight release date has been announced for the MCC, that date being next week, October 13th, which sounds about right, as this will give us about the two month cadence as they kind of expected for these seasons between now and the release of Halo Infinite. So we'll have plenty of time to dive in and check out everything with season eight. And I guarantee I'll be releasing a ton of content, guys, about season eight on this channel. So if you want to stay updated with everything going on with the MCC, make sure you tap subscribe there as well. And I also want to do a little bit of an overview of everything coming in with this new season because there is a huge season coming in, probably the biggest since crossplay has been announced. So everything coming in with season eight, guys, we have view model adjustments coming for all games. We've talked about this previously in multiple videos. If you want to check that out, check out my previous MCC news videos. We have Steam account linking as well, which will be a lot easier to join in on your friends when it comes to playing Halo. PC file share, which for me as a PC player, this is absolutely huge. I actually get a chance to just casually find matches rather than creeping in people's file share. So that's fantastic. A huge one here is the custom game browsers. Again, a nice update with Halo 1 and Halo 3 coming in with season eight with additional filter is coming for season eight as well for you to be able to find your matches a whole heck of a lot faster we have the new content coming in for season eight as well with the mythic armors coming in as well as some additional skins for halo c3 again i put up a video showcasing all the crazy customization and all the new additions that are coming in with the customization side of things for halo mcc season eight so i guarantee you want to check out that video if you want to know more about it and as gaming becomes more popular guys they have additional accessibility support which right now they have colorblind support for season eight and during the flight we also played around with expanded subtitles in development it's currently in development which they we had a chance to play around with that a little bit with the season eight flight now this list we have a lot of really cool changes coming with quality of life improvements for mcc specifically halo 4 and halo 2 here most of these being visual improvements as well so like halo 4 reclaimer lighting adjustments have been fixed right there improved stat tracking for halo reach firefight which is probably one of the more popular firefights out there this is a huge one. Halo 2 classic lighting and cinematic fixes are coming in as well. Halo 2 is pretty much going to be getting the same kind of treatment as CE did for Season 8, but this time for Halo 2. If you guys don't know what the differences are, I mean, I really don't remember off the top of my head either, but you can see right here, Late Night Gaming actually put together a nice little video showcasing all the differences between the Xbox version of Halo 2 and the MCC PC version. And you can clearly see on the right, the MCC PC version, the lighting is just a little bit off. The graphics are a little bit off and don't exactly match what happens in the original Xbox version. So much like we have with CE for Season 7, Halo 2 is getting kind of about the same amount of treatment. Maybe not like exactly with graphics, but lighting is going to be greatly improved. Halo 2 friendly Zealot AI improvements are coming in for this. Improved Halo 2 skull pickup cues. Halo 2 classic texture and bump map fixes that bring them closer to alignment with original Xbox. And they also found the missing sun in Halo 2 Classic. If you guys don't remember, the sun is just not there in Halo 2 Classic, so they found it. And don't forget guys, we have a brand new map coming in for Halo 3 that is Icebox, which is actually a remake of Turf from Halo 2. And I got a chance to play around this a ton during the flight guys. And yeah, it, uh, well, plays like Turf. It looks like turf in a way and it just plays like it and it's really a lot of fun this is going to work out super well within halo 3 sandbox so definitely looking forward to playing this now i'm sure a lot of you guys are excited about the flood coming in for season 8 of the mcc for odst firefight and i got a chance to play around with it with the flight it was all right the ai didn't really exactly work as i would say as intended and didn't really create the most fun gameplay experience but it's really cool just to have the flood available for firefight which is something halo players have always wanted but when the recent development update, it sounds like it might have to wait a little bit longer. In a recent MCT development update, they're talking about ODC Firefight here and saying that the Flood and Elite Enemy Types in the present flight would not make it into the release of season eight, but does reiterate that they will be joining soon enough. But one of the new enemy types, the Sentinel, will be available when season eight releases. So yeah, cries and flood sounds. 
And also just a fun thing on the side guys for the MCC, if you log into the game by October 15th, you will earn the Hispanic Heritage Month nameplate as well. So you rock your support for Hispanic Heritage. So remember that Halo Infinite event that I've been talking about for the last few weeks, talking about how like it's finally coming around. It got announced last week guys, it's an HDS event in Raleigh, but these HDS events are much more than just like watching competitive Halo. It's about a chance for the community to come together. That's what a lot of people use these events for. I've seen so many people on Twitter saying they're going. I know so many content creators that are going as well. Sadly enough, I won't be able to go because that same weekend I have a family vacation planned. But if you snoozed, I'm getting a ticket guys well it looks like you might have actually lost as general mission and vip tickets for the hcs kickoff major in raleigh 2021 are officially sold out that's within a week this event sold out that's how thirsty people are for some halo action and i don't blame them i would be there as well if i could i think this might be the fastest selling event that's ever <laughs> happened within hcs also good thing to know that if you're looking to compete with it that team passes will go on sale on november 17th and so you have a chance to jump in there that's about the only time you will be able to join this event guys if you're in a part of a team but don't worry for all you competitive halo fans or just people who like going to these halo events that the great thing is that we'll have more information coming soon guys there is going to be a planned roadmap for a year-long list of all the events that are going to be happening so you can plan out your year of what kind of event will work out best for you it's not going to be like previous where we just knew like one event at a time we're going to know all the events are going to happen all throughout 2022 very soon probably before the end of this year so i definitely will report on that guys when it does go live so this isn't going to be your only time to go to a halo event it's just going to be your first time to have a chance to go crossing my fingers for a seattle event and if so that makes it so much easier for me to go to one so if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here i got a link to all my halo infinite and mcc news videos we've been uploading daily about thanks so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next one peace out